Hi and welcome to TechNut. In this video, we'll be setting up a CSGO server. Setting up a CSGO server can be fairly simple. Most of the configuration is done in the config files, which we won't go into in much detail, because it's simply too much to cover. However, this will let you set up a basic CSGO server and get started. So, the first thing that you'll need is Steam CMD GUI. This one will let us configure the server without having to run a lot of commands. It will make everything a lot simpler in general. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and extract this. The download link, by the way, is in the video, video description. So, we're gonna hit extract, open up the folder, and start the program. As soon as we, it has loaded, we need to take care of a couple of things. First thing that we need to do is download the actual Steam CMD. If you're not already familiar with Steam CMD, it's a small utility used to download the game from Steam. So, we're gonna hit the button, it will download the file into the folder, and we need to extract it. So we're just gonna do that, and then we're gonna specify the path to that folder, just like that. And this will actually allow us to download the game. But first, we need to specify where to save the files. Let's do this. Let's hit Browse. I'm going to create a new folder right here called CSGO. And hit OK. As soon as we've done that, you have the option to hit the Update slash Install button. So, we're going to do just that. This will connect to Steam, look for the latest version of the game, download it, and then validate that all files are in order. As CSGO is not a very small game, this will take a while. While the game is downloaded, we can go ahead and create a game server account for this server. Uh, this is only necessary if you're going to play outside of your LAN. So if you're only going to use it to play at home, this step can be skipped completely. However, you're going to have to go to this webpage. I'll put the link in the video description. There are some prerequisites, uh, nothing too bad. Uh, your account, Steam account, can of course not be banned or locked. Uh, it cannot be limited. You need to have a qualified registered phone for your account. You need to own the game that you're setting up a server for. And each Steam account can create 1000 game server accounts. So, you'll probably not run out of those easily. What you have to do is sign in. So I'm just going to do that right now. And once we've signed in, we get back to the same page again, where we can actually fill in some details down here. Uh, as you can see, the app ID is required, and it says right here that the app ID for CSGO is 7.30. And you will see here that I've actually done these steps before, and I'm just showing you once again. And we need to specify a game, so server, technot, oops, CSGO, and hit the create button. This will generate a login token. So we're going to go ahead and copy that uh, into Notepad. Oops, in the background for some reason. So we're going to paste it in there. I will also need to add something in front of this before we can actually use it. So uh, this command will of course be available in the video description as well, and we will need this a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Move that over there. And I'm going to pause the video until the download has completed. As you can see, the download has now completed. You can see that it was a su success, so that's good news. So we're going to hit the close button. This takes a few seconds for some reason. But we continue in Steam CMD GUI. So we're going to head over to the run server. And we're going to go ahead and select the folder where we downloaded CSGO just a moment ago. This will unlock a couple of more options. First off, we need to set the name for the server. This could be anything, so I'm just going to call it Ticknut CSGO. And we have to select a map. So let's go for Dust2. You can select if you want an internet or LAN server. Uh, if you select internet and don't add the key, uh, it will just be a LAN server anyways. So there's really no use trying that. I've already done it. 
Uh, and what we need to do is of course add this. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it, hit the plus sign, paste it, and hit enter. And now we should be ready to start the server. If you want to do some configuration, for instance, we want to set the message of the day, just type technet csgo server. Here, it's gonna save the file, close it, and it will be saved. You have the combo files, web cycle, map list, configuration files, so there's a lot of things that you can do there. And I will include the link to the Valve Developer Community article on creating, on setting up CSGO servers. You might want to edit some of these files. I will not do that right now. So, now we should be able to start the server. For load here, there are some errors, some stuff missing here, and a lot of those stuff. I'm not sure if that's actually a problem. I've played on the server, it works just fine. So for what I can tell, there is no problem here. Uh, if you know why I get these kinds of errors, please let me know in the comments. Before we can actually connect to the server, we need to open up the firewall. As usual, I will show you how to do this for the Windows firewall, but when it comes to your own router, I'm afraid there's not, not much that I can do. However, we know from the start that the port that is necessary is port 27015 and that the protocol is UDP. So I'm going to show you how to open this using PowerShell. So to do this, we're going to start up PowerShell and we're going to execute the following command. As you see, it's a new net firewall rule command. There's a display name to allow CSGO UDP. Direction is inbound, action is allow, protocol is UDP, and the port is 27015. So, it's gonna hit enter. Give it a second to apply. And the port should be open. So now, I should be able to connect from a computer on the lawn. As I said before, if you want the server to work over the internet, you need to go into your router and open up the firewall there as well. So, now we're in Steam. And if we open up the view menu, we can select servers and this will immediately go to, in my case, the LAN tab where I can see the Technot CSGO server. So we're just going to check it out and see if it works. So we're going to hit connect, sit back and wait for everything to load. Oh, we get the message of the day, so obviously that saved all right. You can see that the map at least looks like me, like it is dust too. And Let's get this over with. As you can see, it runs smoothly. Watch out, sniper! Fire in the hole! And that's all there is to it. You now have a CSGO server up and running, and just get going with the configuration. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.